Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Sitters Abbey here, back again with Psycho Pass 1, episode 21, uh, the penultimate episode of season 1. Um, so it's all coming to an end with Magashima, possibly. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to survive this season, uh, and then season 2 will be like, I don't know, maybe the battle against um, Sybil itself. I figure that could be a possibility, but uh, but we don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah. So, we had Kogami, who left the um, the Bureau uh, to basically go vigilante, detective, rogue. Um, because the system itself is not going to kill Makishima. Um, so, you know, Kagami's like, right, fair enough, I'm going to take him into my own hands, use an actual fucking gun. Um, and one thing I actually wanted to, uh, to talk about, like, to, just to, just to, you know, just to, to say that I picked up on it. Um, in a, a previous episode, you see Kogami sort of, um, constantly reloading and practicing with the, uh, with, like, the little, the little Magnum revolver thing that he's got. Um... And I thought that was that's a, that's just an interesting little um, little detail uh, because obviously in this world, you know, they've grown up with without the use of actual firearms. It's been just the dominator, so you know it, it makes sense that they would have to, you know, get used to an actual gun. So I like that little uh, little thing. I didn't like talk about. It. I didn't pick up on it um, when I uh, was watching that episode, but uh, but yeah, it was cool. Um, so yeah, obviously Kagami's tracking down. Uh, Makashima and getting there before the Bureau ever does because he's, he's just that good of a detective uh, or inspector and then you've got the the actual the Bureau itself um, chasing both Makashima and Kogami because uh, obviously with Kogami going rogue they, they can't let him kind of get away so but yeah but we also had Kogami like whilst he was getting to the like to the places where Makashima had been before the Bureau he was leaving clues so that the Bureau could pick up on on there uh, on it and, and and follow Kogami. I, I, it's an interesting. I'm not sure why he did it. The only thing I can really guess is that it would be something that's like you know as potential backup, like you know if things go wrong, like I don't know if if Kogami ends up biting the bullet, then at least the bureau can catch him. I guess. Uh, I guess that's what it is. Um, but yeah. So, Makashima's uh, found out what he um, what he's wanting to do, uh, which is to basically cut off the, f the food supply. Um, it's all in one area, which is a stupid idea. Whoever thought that's an idiot. Um, but yeah, basically it's it's like hyper grain or something, um, and it, it's all in one place. Basically, if you like, he's basically planning to. Um, put it like put a virus in it. You know what I mean. Set a virus inside of it. So basically, that's it. It's ninety nine percent of the fucking of the, like the whole food supply of the country. It's ridiculous. But uh, but yeah, Kogami's literally there. Um, he, he's already there. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I think we're without further ado, we're just gonna get an episode twenty one. See what we get. So without further ado, let's go. Whereabouts are they? Oh, right, though, okay. I get an air transport over there. Fucking hell, that is a lot of hydraulic. Tenno Kuniwa, Sugino Yoni Tato Erare. Aru Hitoma Yoi Tane or Hataki Nimaita. Hitobito Gane Tiro Aitani taking a kite. Mugi no Nakani. It seems crazy to think that we'll have a, a like this whole place completely unmanned. They're here already. <laughs> Fuck. Kore dake no kibo no setsubi ga kanzen mujin ka sareta mama kado shiteru nante na. ずっと大が大きい獲物ほど狙いやすい。クジラも殺すほどの毒針を使うとなれば、なおさら。多分、鴻上さんです。思いのほか早いようでましたったな。こう暗極を舐めないでください。あなただけがマキシマを追い詰
浮かの見たまの調整に取り掛かっているはずだあるいはもう終わらせているかも奴がいじった浮かの見たまを撒き散らす前にここの施設そのものを停止させるしかない公安局の権限でこの施設への電力供給を遮断できるはずだなセキュリティシステムも全滅ですあなたの狙いはそれですねうん私たちは,はセキュリティを解除させ<笑>先回りしてマキシマを殺すつもりでしょう今公安局が選べる選択肢は一つだけだ電力を止めろ鴻上深夜を殺人犯にはさせません<笑>なら早い者勝ちだな Well, I guess they're first. They're going to get there at the same time, I guess. ここは鴻上の言う通り、施設そのものを停止させるしか手はない。もし鴻上さんと遭遇したとき、犯罪係数が三百を超えて、エリミネーターが起動するようなら、発砲を控えて私を呼んでください。鴻上さん相手には切り札があります。大丈夫。任せてください。That will be set there. ならこの銃、セーフティーを解除したまま、機能をパラライザーに固定して。マキシマに立ち向かうにはそれ相応の強力な武器がいる私たちだって自分の身は守らなきゃならないもしドミネーターが使えないならより原始的な武器に頼るしかなくなるわ最悪の場合それでマキシマを殺す羽目になるかもしれない私たちの能力には限界があるしマキシマを無事確保できる確率は 100% には及ばないわそのマキシマは得意でしょ現時点よりマキシマ称号捕獲の達成に至るまで該当する端末装置の特例を許可しますおいお嬢ちゃん局長に呼び出されてからこっちちょっと変だぞ心配ですかああ鴻上の時と一緒だ突っ走りすぎた監視官の末路なんて俺はそう何度も見たがないそれなら私の犯罪係数確かめてみますドミネーターを向けてみてください犯罪係数24刑事課登録監視官ねえ今の私はシステムの望み通りの人間なんですよ了解施設全域への送電をカットしますやってくれるな公安局Hello everyone, just a reminder that if you go into the link in the description to my Patreon and get the early access tier for $5 a month, you can gain access to four episodes of Psycho Pass every single week. Uh, that's two on Tuesday, two on Saturday. Um, and and yeah, you get them a week early as well. So if you're coming for more reactions from me and from Psycho Pass more frequently, again, send in the description below to my Patreon and it's the early access tier for $5 a month. On with the video. Yes. Okay. ラッツ、トラップ、そうですね。冷静な判断力があれば、すぐさま逃げ出す判断を打つんじゃないか。手があるとすれば、非常電源。今はまだ外部からのコマンドで切り替えを遮断してるだけですよね。ええ。オリワ
<笑>ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ。ファクスへ
basically be better for his son, right? And you just, you knew it was going to come up at that point. Fuck sake. I mean... I hope they learn from this and they don't fucking split up again. Because <laughs> that's the second time, it's the second fucking time it's happened. You split up, people die, right? Just all go at once. Just go as a group. Just, <laughs> fuck's sake, for once, please. Uh, I mean, you know, and, and from this point, Gnosis is probably going to blame himself because if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have got trapped under, under that, all of that shit. Um, Masuoka had a metal arm. I thought so. I, I've asked that before. Like, it was like, he had, had like a fucking, like a metallic hand and I was like, is he got a metal arm? He did. And I don't know how far it went up, because I could barely see, because it was dark, but he had his whole arm blown off, right? And, but at, at the top, it looked like like white, like loose wires. But that was the only part of him that got blown, uh, blown off, right? <laughs> blown off. Um... I guess, I don't know, possible like, shrapnel could have got him elsewhere, I guess. Well, on the bright side, Gnose I can get one now. Because his arm's fucked. Crushed. Too soon. Ah! I like how Kagami, like, you know, as, as a sort of two birds, one stone thing was like, you have to shut off the power. But, it, but, you know, the, you knew by them doing that that he would be able to, you know, bypass the security himself. I like that. And I never even thought about that. Like, you know, the fact that uh, Makashima was able to get past it doesn't mean that he, um, that he like, didn't turn it back on afterwards so that he, people, like, he couldn't be followed, you know? Um, so, yeah. Also, this, uh, they had Akane set up. Akane had the uh, uh, Sybil set the Dominator to paralyze her only. Um I like that. And and also like the manipulation and sort of like the, almost like the blackmail kind of thing. It's like, oh well, you know, if push comes to shove, we'll have to use other weapons and therefore Makashima's uh, life is uh, on the line. And obviously we know that Sybil wants Makashima's uh, alive so that they can implement him in another system. <clears throat> um, they did say that the the fine with doing putting people in by force, right? Yeah, because Obviously, it's not like capturing them and like capturing Makashima a second time is gonna give them any incentive to, to actually go in. Um, yeah, Kagami, Kagami could have fucking could have shot him there. Like, <laughs> it's the most, it's one of the most infuriating things, um, in media when the like the. The antagonist is focused on something. And then somebody from the side, right, has all the time in the world, or behind them, has all the time in the world to focus the shot, right, and make sure it hits. You've got the jump on him. He doesn't know you're there, right? And it's just... I would expect Kogami to be, to do, like, to, you know, to do that. Out of everyone, out of every single character in the show, I would expect Kogami to be the one to be able to make that shot. And he didn't. <laughs> now, of course, I get it. For the sake of story, it, you can't just have him, like, you know, because that would be very, very anticlimactic. I get that. But, you know, like, just don't have it then. Just don't have it in there. Because I, I think it's it just ends with a sort of, like, I think it just leaves the, the watcher, like, a bit, a bit peeved. Because, you know, like, you know, like, that is the only feeling you get from that is like, oh, come on, that's all you get. So it would have been better for, like, uh, you know, for that, like, little scene to not happen. And just have him, like, either have Kogami come in, um, like, an entrance where Makashima's looking 
you know what I mean? So so you can actually get it like have a chance to to dodge and stuff like that, as opposed to like standing still and you know, Kogami has all the time in the world to shoot any misses. So Yeah. I kinda wanna know like how how did Akane figure out that Kidoza and Mas uh, Masaoka were the ones in trouble? Because it wasn't explained. It just showed a, a bunch of flashing images. Like, I mean, is it like? Because she seemed very one hundred percent certain. I mean, the facility looked kind of big. Don't know what he was planning. I guess it could have been just a case of like, you know, M M like Makashima expecting what um like Makashima would expect the 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 uh the, the bureau to leave and and go elsewhere or split up um in which case he was he was betting on that so that he would have less people to deal with I guess like if Makashima's thinking what the bureau is gonna do in relation to what he's doing, then he'll just do the opposite thing. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, the bureau is expecting me to do this, because logically that would be, you know, the, the next best thing to do. All right, and I'll not do that then. I guess that's what it is. Um, but yeah, so we've, we've lost another one. Great. I mean, you know, the fact that Akane left and then went and went and split up again. So now not only. Did you split up once and then a person died? But then you split up and then uh, Yoyo is left on her own. Akane is now on her own. Genoza's on his own. And Kogami's on his own. N nobody's together right now. <laughs> like, nobody. It's, it's, ugh. I mean, it's not, probably not going to be long before Akane meets up with Genoza, but. Still, like, Akane and Yoyo don't, don't know what's going on throughout all of this, you know what I mean? And the fact that you're splitting up again. You can't do that. It's stupid. <laughs> but okay. Um So yeah, we've got a we've got a fight for the next episode. Uh again, I feel I feel like it was kinda it was it's it's a bit spoilerish in the in the opening to show Kogami on one side, Akane on the other, and Makshima on the middle. And then, like the, them, like them, you know, Akane and Kogami both pointing guns at him. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. Like, it's going to come down to Makashima in the middle, and it's, it's. I don't know. Um, I don't know how it ends because how is like what? What is Akane really going to do? Um. Because if Kogami does kill Makashima, right? Is Akane really going to trust Sybil and bring Kogami back? Because all, all she can do is paralyze, right? So... I wouldn't be trusting the Sybil, like, the this, this system, because... If they're just oh no, mm -mm. they're so they're so round about they keep things hidden for a reason, you know what I mean? And this would be no different. Um, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll be acting like yeah, yeah, all right, we'll we'll, we'll keep them alive. But as soon as they, as soon as they get like they get an opportunity, they'd, they'd kill them themselves. Like they'd kill him themselves instead of just you know getting somebody else to do it. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, that was uh. That's all for this episode. Not a lot to really talk about other than, you know, the, the obvious stuff. I was thinking about maybe just, just stopping at the reaction and then watching the, the finale of season one and then just, like, talking about episode 21 and 22 together and that. But, yeah, well, I did it anyway. Uh, so, yeah. That is all. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. In the description below, I have links to certain things. One of them is the Discord. I urge everyone to go over there and... Uh, like, especially if you, like, you want me to react to a certain show, because that's where polls and things start. Um, and also, if you just want to come talk to me or the community, I'm free to do that as well. Uh, and also, Patreon. So, I do have a Patreon. Uh, so, if you don't want to support me, that would be very much appreciated. Um, there's a bunch of different tiers and rewards, depending on how much you want to support me with. 
uh, $5 a month, that's the early access, that's the most popular one. So for that you gain access to all my pay like all the shows I do um, a week in advance, uh, so a week early. Uh, and for Code Gas and Psycho Pass, you get uh, four episodes a week. Um, so, so yeah, if you're coming for more reactions from me more frequently, that's where you want to go. Uh, full length, that's the $10 a month, so for that you gain access to all of the shows that I do in full length. Everything I react to gets a full length, all unedited. Uh, so there's that. $15 a month, that is the exclusive tier. So for that, you gain access to another show, which I'm currently reacting to, a bonus show, um, which uh, I've actually just finished, uh, Parasite. Um, but there is another show ready to take its place. I don't know what that is now, because there is a poll going on to find out what will take that, like, take over that. Um, but uh, keep an eye out for whatever show that is, because uh, uh, we will know in due time. And uh, also all OVA reactions and all movie reactions go into the exclusive tier as well. $50, that is the elite tier, so every time you pay that, you get a choice of a show that you want me to react to, and I will react to it. It will go at the back of the list that's currently got eight shows, I think, in there. So it might take me a while to get around to them, um, but uh, I will eventually. Unless you want to jump the queue, go at the very front, in which case you want to get God tier, which is $100. Um, so that means that your show will be reacted to next. But yeah, that is also thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.